Hey, Hannah Mouse one here. Welcome back to my Scratch Farming game devlog series. In this episode, I set up an inventory system. So, I start by making buttons that let you switch from play mode to inventory mode and back again. I set this up in a way that will allow me to quickly and easily make new tabs when I set up shops and the like. I make juicy little mouse over effects because you'll be using these buttons a lot. They may as well be satisfying. First, I make it so that the buttons just change a tab variable and then I make all the necessary clones and sprites disappear when I go to the inventory and appear again when I go back. These won't be relevant for a while yet, but I also created some inventory pages for the various items, resources, seeds or plants. Next is the items themselves. For now, I only need wood, stone and acorns, but there will of course be dozens of items in the final game and those I'll make in due course. These three are all resources, so I set it up so that they appear on the correct tab. I also create a bunch of labels that appear when you mouse over stuff. I make it so that the icons are faded out when you have none of an item. Finally, I create an indicator for how many of an item you have, preemptively allowing this to go up through the thousands and the millions and so on. While it is incredibly unlikely that anyone's going to play this game long enough for them to get a million wood, it's hardly impossible and more importantly I can reuse the system for money and that will have to go much higher anyway. And that's the last feature that I got in this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did, it lets me know that this is something you want to see more of. And apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!